Our following guest is someone who you will recognize as a chess commentator and a player, but you're used to seeing her more on the commentary side, and now she is on the playing side of things. Kathy Sasashvili, thank you so much for joining us. Let me begin from that. Like usually, people are used to seeing you commenting events, but now you're playing. How difficult is it to adjust to the role between two roles, I guess? I love this experience. I have not played chess at this high level for a long time and I really miss this and it is such a great opportunity to see people, the opponents, in person because I usually see them through the video and cameras and it's, it is just incredible to have this chance to compete uh, the, uh, on the board and you know, I always judge other players how they play and now I have to judge my own game so it's really cool. Now they get to judge your game as well but I, on, on that note, obviously they, some of you, they've, they've been listening to you over the years of watching how you commented their games. Some of them might have a beef with your, some of your views so are you reaping any repercussions from that? Oh, that's actually very funny because all my opponents that I played, I have seen their games before, they, how they play, what are their style. And I have to admit that they are so strong. They are really very strong and it's very hard to find any weakness to, to beat them or to hold the uh, game on a draw. But I enjoy so much uh, this tournament here and uh, to play um, with my team that, to be honest, I am not nervous. And when you're not nervous in the chess game, it goes well. Pain just flow well. All right. Uh, in this tournament, we have a special board, a women's board. Does this contribute to women's chess? How do you view it as a woman? Should it be a fixed board? Should women be more up? What, what's your view in general? Uh, here, we, in my team, we're two women and we're competing also against men. And um, I like this to be mixed, to have this opportunity to play sometimes with girls and sometimes to play with a, with a man. And I think it should be so, to have the option to play against both. But also we have in this format an amateur board, an amateur player, which gives some unpredictability to everything. Would you be open as, as a professional, but also someone who popularizes chess? Do you think that for the promotion of chess, it would be good to have more events like this where there are amateurs playing and just bring in more intensity and, and unpredictability to events. Yeah, I love it. I love it, to be honest. Of course, it's you never know what's going to happen on the last board, uh, but it somehow connects the team together and very often we talk to, like, first board and second board, which we have 2700s, they can talk to uh, the uh, last board who has no rating and he enjoys here and you can give some advices. So uh, at this point we don't have this uh, unpleasant moment for anyone because we have this, this board, but for in general for chess it's, it's amazing because uh, someone who is interested to sponsor chess, uh, who loves to play chess, they can have a team and they can also play by themselves because everyone wants to compete, everyone wants to win, so this is a great opportunity for them. And finally, which is easier to comment or to play, or which is harder actually? So. Oh, I'm so comfortable with the commentary to be honest and doing this for a long time. I would say that I love to do commentary, but also enjoying 100% when I'm playing. I well, wish you a lot of luck and thank you so much for your time. Thank you.